I'm sorry for for the I'm sorry for the thing, you know, when you are in the bush area. <laughs> I am in the desert of wonders area. So the network comes, the network goes. It's a lot of it's a lot of things. So I'm sorry for the 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 cut the network breakdown. I am in the bush area. I am in the desert of wonders where the godfather is. I just drove out completely from the compound so that I can get a better network to speak to you. Please share again. Let people know that CR1 is back. Let people know that I'm back. Let me share with you what I want to share with you and so that I can, I can go back uh, to my assignment. I am going to be done first week of January. I am back in South Africa because I will be done with what I'm doing. All those people that are worrying, please don't worry yourself. And there are other people, see a one, see a one has left us, see a one is this. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, I cannot disobey Godfather no matter what. I can disobey anything else, but when it's Godfather, I can never disobey Godfather. So I want you to share, share, share. Let people know that I'm back. Network disturbed us because I am in the desert of wonders area. Network uh, uh, messed up the show, but I'm back now. I'm back. So what am I trying to say? I was warning. I was warning the people of Zambia before. I told them to say, "Hey, the Galungu and his uh, and his uh, 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 PF. They don't mean well for the people of Zambia. How do you start shooting to people who are just protesting?" What is wrong with protest, by the way? <laughs> I, I was watching a uh, Campiongo. What is the, the dwarf, that small one? What is his name? Campiongo. That short one without hair. That ugly idiot. I was watching him. Eh? Saying, the, the, tomorrow when they are appearing, may you uh, don't go there. If you go there, you will see. For what reason? Everybody needs solidarity. Even when I was arrested in Zambia, when I was arrested in Zambia, several times, my church showed me solidarity. At Kabwata police station there, it was filled with my church members. Eddie Galungu, anytime he's having something, he shows solidarity. Campiongo uh, 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 yourself. How about Chito Teller? How about that other one who is uh, the one who, who, who has destroyed the Minister of Health with corruption, Tita Lutilufia? Eh? Anytime they are going anywhere, anything that pertains to courts, to police, and so on, they are showing solidarity. In anywhere in the world, showing solidarity is not a crime. You are free to show solidarity to anyone. Why must you victimize HH and his supporters because they are showing solidarity to him? Eh? Why? I took permission from Godfather. Godfather said, you can go and talk. But Godfather himself is aware of everything that you are doing. Believe me, there's going to be massive... Mark my word. See, one is not a talk, talk person. When I tell you that something is going to happen, something is going to happen. There's going to be a massive state funeral. Watch, watch. You see this thing I'm telling you? I swear upon Godfather. You are going to see it yourself. Look. Godfather fight for people that don't have anybody to fight with them. He gives justice to people that don't have justice. Why are you killing Zambian people? Ed Galungu, you have flown away with your wife pretending like everything is okay. We know what is going on. But you are fleeing with your wife and so on and so forth. You are enjoying your holiday while you are, you are, your police is killing innocent people. For no reason. For what reason? What is it for? Edgar Lungo, what is long what is wrong with showing solidarity to an opposition member an opposition president what is wrong with giving him solidarity those people that you killed we are there having guns those people that you killed we are there having matches those people that you killed what was their offense they didn't do anything. They didn't even have uh, even a spoon to defend themselves. You kill them simply because of hatred. And you say one Zambia, one nation. Your time is coming. It's, uh, your time is coming. I'm, I'm telling you the gospel truth. <laughs> you think that hey, now that we have managed to silence your one with the Nigerian government, we can do anything you want. You're a fool. <laughs> no one can silence me. Not even... 
not even American government. I respect Nigerian government so much. And they are the reason why that I stopped. But you know, what you are doing, what you are doing in Zambia, we cannot allow that to happen. Zambia is not Uganda. Zambia is not Zimbabwe. You cannot turn Zambia to Uganda and turn Zambia to Zimbabwe and think that you are wise. You are not wise. You are a foolish man. You are a very foolish man. You are not wise. I'm telling you the gospel truth. <laughs> Read my lips. It's in Zambia. State funeral. It will be massive. Godfather is the one who told me to come and talk. Because without his permission, I cannot come here. Many things have happened. Even the way you ECZ has manipulated so many things, manipulated numbers and so on. We left you. We don't want to talk because we are going to teach you a lesson next year. Even if you want to go to Luapula and register 1 billion people. Go to uh, 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 Kasama. Register 1 billion people. Register as much as you can. Next year, we are going to show you that... We determine. You know already. You know what, how it happened in 2015. You know how it happened in 2015. So that's why, that's why I'm not talking about those useless things you are doing with ECZ. We are by, from nowhere, PF stronghold like Luapula is having more numbers registered. From nowhere, PF stronghold are people that are, are registering a lot. Then UPND stronghold are people that are not registering a lot. And you think that you are wise. We left you because we know that you, it's, it's foolishness. We are going to teach you a lesson. That's not my concern. My concern is why are you killing innocent people? Why? Eh? Edikalungu, you are supposed to be a father to the people of Zambia. You are even supposed to be a father to Hakain De Chilema. Because you are the president. You are a father to everybody. While you are relaxing somewhere, your people are killing the people of Zambia and you are quiet about it. Zambian youth also, your level of cowardness is, is beyond. <laughs> your level of, they are taking you for granted. They, they are taking you for fools and you are enjoying it. I blame you, Zambian youth. You are good in typing on Facebook. You are cowards. Very soon now, you say talk about Nigeria. Why do you want to talk about Nigeria? Have you been to Nigeria before? I am here in Imo State. Imo State is the, 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 the smallest state in Nigeria, but it's bigger than the whole of Zambia. Police cannot make noise. They cannot intimidate the citizen. They cannot kill us for free. Nigerian youth cannot take rubbish. You must come and see for yourself. Police are killing you all over. Police are killing you like cow. Police are killing you like chicken. And you are still enjoying it. You're on, you on Facebook. You are, many of you are watching me from your bed. Useless bed. You, you, many of you are watching me from doing rubbish. You are cowards. Zambian youth. Eddie Galungu and his police is killing you like chicken. They wake up, they kill a uh, 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 Vespa. They wake up, they kill that young boy from Kablonga that, uh, during the time of gassing. They wake up, they have killed a whole state persecutor. And they are quiet. You think you are wise. If you talk, you say, don't participate in politics. You are a fool. If you are telling people not to participate in politics, who is going to participate in politics? Who is doing politics? Are politicians not human beings like us? If you don't participate in politics, then useless people are going to rule you. Look at what is happening. Look at Eddie Galungu, a very clueless human being that don't understand leadership. Wake up and make a decision that is destroying the country and he doesn't care. The other day I was watching him. It's just that I was in the Godfather's ban. I was going to address him. I was watching him. He was saying when people say that things are bad in Zambia, I laugh. Look at Look at the foolish sentiment from a person who call himself a president. He's a playboy. He's not a president. He's a playboy. He has surrounded himself with playboys. That's why he's behaving like an idiot. Laughing at citizens. Citizens are crying. Quite is losing value. People are not doing businesses. And the president is saying, I laugh when you say things are hard. Edgar Lungu things are hard in Zambia. Other countries are surviving. Other countries are doing well. Here in Nigeria, Nigeria is doing well. Every other country is doing well. It's only in Zambia where things are not okay. Because of what? Your stupidity as a leader. 
Because you can't make a decision. Look at the road that you are constructing in Zambia. The bridges that you call flyover that they are constructing in Zambia. Wasting billions of money and the land in Zambia to become slave eh, of Chinese any moment from now. Eh? What is going on? Eh? People of Zambia, what is going on? What is going on? What is happening to you? I warned you a long time ago. I told you that Eddie Galungu is desperate. Edika is a desperate human being. And the desperate human being can do anything. He can do anything. He can do undoable. I don't even know what he's desperate for. Eh? I warned you. I told you people, these guys will start killing you. That state uh, persecutor they killed today, is he a UPND Kada? He's a normal Zambian person. That is the way they will start killing you up and down. Believe me, next year, you are, what you are seeing today is nothing. If, not, if you don't wake up next year, <laughs> they will come from house to house and start killing you. I'm telling you, the people that are ruling Zambia today don't have brains. People like Boman Lusambo, the idiot that is comparing Zambia to Los Angeles. I don't think he has been to Limpopo first. He didn't compare Zambia to Limpopo. He didn't compare Zambia to Namibia. He didn't compare Zambia to Botswana. He wants to compare Zambia to Los Angeles. That fool, those are the fools that are making decisions for the country. It's for you to see. How about Campion? That short one. The, 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 that fool that was gallivanting up and down in, in the street and he was made the minister. Those are the people that are making decisions. They know nothing. They have nothing on their head. That's why it is, it is the way it is. People of God. Zambian people. These guys don't mean well for you. They want to eliminate you at all costs because of power. This is why I am asking this question to Kenneth Kaunda. Papa, the father of Zambia, have you sat Edgalungu down? Have you sat Edgalungu down and tell him that there is life after losing an election? Rupia Banda, Papa of Zambia, have you sat Edgalungu down and tell him that there is life after losing an election? Eddie Galungu is taking things so far. The guy don't want to give up. The guy, the guy, like the guy, it's like, it's like, it's like he want to. It's like, it, 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 it's like, it's, it's like a baby that don't know how to use a toy, but he's insisting that he want to use a toy. Eh? Have you sat Eddie Galungu down and tell him that relax? There is life after losing an election. They have manipulated ECZ. Look at the figures that ECZ is bringing out. From nowhere, Luapula is, is having... Is, uh, during this new registration, Luapula is having more registered members. Active registered members. Than, those things are not our problem. You can go ahead. Register one billion people from Luapula, but we are going to teach you a lesson. That election is do or die. That election, my man to Lassia one, the Jagaban, done of power, is there in that election. If, if Eddie Galungu wins that election, I will resign from Godfather. Godfather, the desert of wonders is just a stone throw from here. And uh, his, his disciples are all over here. They are hearing me. If Eddie Galungu wins and become the president of Zambia next year, I, I will resign from Godfather. I drop microphone. I will never preach again. He can't win. You can't, even if you want, register 20 billion people from Luapula. You can't win. You are going to be crying in state house when you'll be receiving call of how resort is going to be coming in. I am the don of power, the Jacoban. Now, the, who is, is their competition? Who is going to compete? When I say something is going to happen, that's how it happened because I work it myself. Eh? Eh? You are killing your people. For what reason? They have gone to show solidarity. Look at a whole PF. People, all of you that are all of you that are watching me now, I want to speak some sense into your head. Just a minute. I told you before now 
as the dawn of power to say I told Akain De Chilema during my live broadcast. I don't I don't know him, you know. I don't I don't want to talk to him. I I I don't even have anything to do with him. I don't also want to have anything to do with him. But during my live broadcast, I told Akain De Chilema. I said, "Don't worry yourself about privatization. That is a useless thing. They want to use it to distract you. There is no case there." Everyone was panicking, privatization, privatization. I said, don't worry. There is nothing there. And you thought that I was joking. Today, they summoned Akain de Echilema. What was the reason for the summoning? A very useless reason. <laughs> A very useless reason. A reason that... A, a normal president we just look at it and say ah we have a lot of things that is bothering our country kwacha is dying we don't have food there is problem with electricity people are dying of hunger a good president should be thinking about this thing then edgar lung his police his cadres went and summoned a church because he bought a house at he forged the a name and document to buy a house in two zero in two zero four. Of all the whole idiots in PF, all the whole fools in PF that wear green, dirty people, group of dirty people, smelling idiots. Of all of you, they are including Tutua. All of you, none of you we are able to take to report Akainde to police for how many years? From twenty fifteen. Until today, it took Tayali, ordinary Tayali. Who is Tayali? <laughs> I think Alung has messed up things for himself. You know, when I look at when I do, so PF as an organization, it took Tayali, Chilufia Tayali, ordinary Chilufia Tayali, to report I can the Chilema for you. <laughs> then what are the lawyers doing there? Eh? The ministers, the MPs in PF, you you were just quiet. It took tirely to report a case, <laughs> and the police, a whole police, police of Zambia. This is a shame. This is a disgrace. I am here in Nigeria. Such a rubbish can never happen in Nigeria. We are a whole president, not even a governor of my state here. Hope. Not even hope here can look at a case like this. Not even a police, not even a charge and bail lawyer will look at a case like this. A whole police headquarters summoned that kind of HLM because of Tyler. What is happening to Edgar Lungu? Where is his brain? Where is this type of desperation coming from? What is really going on with with uh, with uh, with uh, with PF? Eh? A whole PF. You have wasted two important lives today because of a useless case. A case that will be thrown away like tissue paper. Now, now. You have wasted two powerful lives. Edgar Lungu. Because of power. Kanganja. Because of power. Where is the name of that short one? That idiot that called me Satanist. What is his name? Campiongo. That local champion that is gallivanting is like a is 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 like a cook. Uh, and what is his name? That one that is round like a watermelon. Eh? An idiot like you. You live. There are so many important things that's supposed to be happening in Zambia. You leave it. You went and summon a church for useless thing. Why are you so desperate? <laughs> Why are you desperate? When you are too desperate, you will die. <laughs> Desperation kills. Uh, <laughs> Desperation is overspeeding. Overspeeding kills. <laughs> ah, PF is finished. This is this is where Zambia has been reduced to. It was never. I know Rupia Banda is la, is laughing right now. Kenneth Kaunda, they are laughing. All these great guys that rule Zambia, they are laughing. Zambia has become a playground for fools, where anybody can wake up and do rubbish. Zambia, please, you, you are shooting innocent people that went to show solidarity. What was their crime? What crime did they commit? Eh? Tell me their crime. They went to show solidarity. Even Trump. In South Africa. 
anytime Malema is appearing, the, 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 there is solidarity. Eh? Z Jacob Zuma. Eh? Sri Ramaphosa. Eh? Even in Zambia there. Eh? Why should you start killing innocent people that had no machete? They had no gun. You start killing them. Because they came to show solidarity. Your days are numbered. Mark my word. There is going to be massive... State funeral because of how desperate you are. Because desperation kills, over speeding kills. You are too desperate. You you believe that you have rigged the election by throwing away the old voters' card and registering new one. You should relax and wait for the election day. Why are you killing innocent people? What did they do? Eh? What did they do? Where is the innocent Caliban? The one that is uh, tormenting the police up and down. Where is he? Eh? Did you shoot him? JJ that went and beat up the police together with his boys at the police station. Did you shoot him? You went and shot innocent people. You went and shot a state prosecutor. Your own person. This is Christmas. Edgar Lunga, I want to tell you something as I conclude. This is Christmas. Here we are in Christmas now. Today, everybody want to spend time with their family. I am even crying for Godfather to give me even a week to go and spend time with my family. Everyone want to spend time with their family. I want to see my mother. I want to see my brothers and my sisters. I want to spend time with the family. Everyone want to spend time with the family. In this Christmas where everybody is happy with their family is when your police went and took lives. Those people, they kid, they have children. They have mothers, they have fathers. Their blood is going to chase you forever and ever. Because you have turned out to be a killer instead of a, a, a leader. The same thing that you have planted is going to haunt you. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You have wasted if you have you killed Vespa. Your police killed Vespa. You killed the uh, 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 how many of them am I going to mention? Uncountable because of power. Because of power. I feel sorry for you. I want you to think about I want you to think about life after being a president. If you don't if you don't want to listen to those a past president in Zambia. Why not listen to other president like Good Luck Jonathan Olusegun Obasanjo of Nigeria? Ask them what is good about life after being a president. They will tell you that it's even more sweeter after being a president than being a president. You don't have stress; you relieve your stress. But the problem with you is that you are too greedy. You want to hold on to power. Even when your constitution is saying that you are not supposed to stand, there is a debate. You want to hold on to power. It has reached the point where innocent people are being killed because of power. I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to go deep. But I want to tell you that your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. The desperation, all the people that you have killed... You will answer for them. Your desperation is too much. Your desperation is too much. There are too many criminals in Zambia. Local criminals anyway. Criminals that... Uh, I, I, I actually ask myself. These uh, uh, equipment, war equipment that uh, the, 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 the Zambian police have brought, what are they doing with it? Because there is no important criminal in, in Zambia. The one that we uh, everyone thought he was a powerful criminal, a talk, doesn't even have a gun. I, they, I was hearing that they went and searched his house. Innocent. They went and searched his house. They only found asses. <laughs> Spares. <laughs> Who does that? Criminals, they use AK-47. Bazooka, if you come to Nigeria, you go to South Africa, 
you see criminals. Those things you have in Zambia are hungry people who are looking for a way to survive. What is the need of buying those things? And what is the need of shooting innocent people? I will rest my case. I don't want to talk too much. Second week of January, I'm going to speak to you again. By then, I would have been done with my assignment here at Godfathers. All of you that have been crying, see one, I see you online, you don't respond to me. We don't respond to people. We don't interact with people when we are here at the Desert of Wonders. Everything will be fine very soon. I want you to know that I love you. God bless you.